What did I tell you now? Sealed to the flame. Spoiler alert! This video will explain the entire Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan and Brandon Sanderson. Some of these books contain questionable material which may not be suitable for small children who can't read at that level anyways. Shmook Imagination Studios does not support or condone this content or the series itself. This video was not sponsored, but we will accept any random money or promotions for the video anyone wants to throw at us. Hello mortals, I am the Hipster Nerd. I'm about to explain to you the entire series known to the world as the Wheel of Time. I apologize for any mispronunciations, I don't read pronunciation guides, they're too mainstream. Within the world of this series, time is a circle, or technically a pattern. Everything that will ever happen has already happened before, and everything that has happened will happen again. Every human life is a thread in this pattern. The story centers around Randall Thor, Matron Calthon, and Perrin Ibarra. They are all young men from a village in the Two Rivers, and they are all destined to one day help defeat the Dark One. Especially Rand, because he is actually the Dragon Reborn. He's not an actual dragon, of course. I just told you he was a person. Pay attention. The dragon was the title of the man who, thousands of years before the beginning of the books, tried to seal the Dark One into Shia Lagul. He didn't do a very good job, so now, whenever anyone tries to channel the male half of the One Power, they will eventually go mad. What's the One Power? Or channeling, for that matter? I'll explain that in a minute. I haven't gotten there yet. I'm listing all of the characters first. But in addition to Rand, Matt, and Perrin, there's also Nineve, who is the village wisdom. Also from their village is a girl named Egwin Alver. In the first book, she is the girl of Rand's dream. Until the third book, when he gets over her in favor of exotic women from around the world. Namely, these women are Min the Psychic, Elaine the Princess, and Avienta, the Desert Goddess. She's not a goddess. Would you stick to the script? <sighs> Joe, scripts are so mainstream. You wrote it! Anyways, in answer to your earlier question about the One Power, the One Power is the series system of magic. There's a male half and a female half. Each half is used by people of that gender with the ability to channel. Not all people have this ability to channel, obviously, otherwise all men would go mad. The majority of women channelers in the world have formed an institution known as the Aes Sedai. The Aes Sedai are known as manipulative and untrustworthy, despite the fact that none of them have the ability to lie. They use half-truths, misleading implications, and sarcasm to deceive people. Aes Sedai also have an incredibly complex system of politics, which is my personal favorite part of the series, but Joe says that we don't have time to go over it in this video. You agreed. Stop making me look like the bad guy. Joe, I'm not calling you a bad guy. We haven't gotten to the bad guys yet. We're still listing out the good guys. Anyways, Moraine Tarmodred is an Aes Sedai who has spent the last 20 years of her life looking for the Dragon Reborn. Without Moraine, the entire series would not have happened and where she's the real hero of the story. Moraine has a warder. His name is Lan. Lan is the king of Malkier. Malkier died. Now the bad guys. The Dark One is the antithesis of the creator who spends every cycle of the pattern attempting to destroy all of time. Obviously, he's never succeeded. He has thousands of monster followers and human followers. And in addition to this, he has 13 incredibly powerful channelers from the Age of Legends known as the Forsaken. The 13 Forsaken were sealed into Shia Ghul with him at the end of the last age by the dragon. So naturally, they hate the dragon reborn as much as they all hate each other. The point of all this is that the final book of the series comes out next week. So if you're going to read it, you should read it now before it becomes obsolete. 
This final book will provide us with a conclusion of the story. However, unless the Dark One wins, which is a possibility, it will not be the end of the story, because there is neither beginning nor end to the great pattern of the ages. This series has been in development for over 20 years now. It contains hundreds of characters, millions of words, over 14 books, including the prequel, and the largest, deepest, most beautiful mythology of any book series ever written. Trust me, I'm a hipster. Let the Lord of Chaos rule. I have won again, Lewis Theron.